Vietnam is San Rico now, on the west of the town. Here we see a lot of coastal erosion and most of the buildings have been destroyed for some buildings over there. So now we're looking at the foundations of the tsunami shelter and the building is well here you see there's been an erosion for about three meters or something, four meters. And the build building is finally on piles. We're on top of the tsunami shelter and you see here on the right how the tsunami barriers have been broken, broken. Over there you see some small port, it's not clear whether the barriers are broken or not. And here to the left you can see another breakwater over there, it seems to have been broken as well. From this point we can see a little bit better the situation of the coastal defences. Here there was the tsunami barrier that was at the edge of the coast, completely destroyed. It must have extended over there as well and it was destroyed though this was some sort of port access channel and that was a tsunami gate or storm, storm surge gate. That seems to have withstood but probably the tsunami went over it. The height here was too much for it. More coastal defences destroyed. There, there was there must have been a case on tape small breakwater, which has failed in in different locations. And over there, yet we have another breakwater which has failed at at least two locations. And we're not sure at this point exactly how far did this extend. But probably went further, to protect the port, and probably it failed also. In well, further in that area. And here you can see the town. So this is the area, the foundation of the tsunami shelter, and then you can see how actually all the foundations are exposed, and you can see the top of the piles. And here's what we were measuring before. You can see it going. Okay, so we've been quite shocked to meet a local resident who's actually told us that he was on top of this area and he was holding his baby. So the water came up to his thigh. Yeah, so actually, the, the tsunami inundation height was much, much higher than the watermark suggests downstairs. So here I'm standing at the top of the breakwater, here's the tsunami shelter that survived. Here we can see, well, the tsunami warm. We can see some armour units which have been washed away. I'm not sure if there were any armour units here before, but I can see none now. So if there were, they've been completely washed away. The top of this breakwater has been completely destroyed. It's snapped off at the top, so this, the return wall has been broken. And here we can see some rocks which make, make up the fill. And the dimensions is about, well, it's about five meters long. And don't come here, please. Don't, don't come. Just don't do it. <laughs> like this, but please don't do it. Um, and maybe the top would have been, from the point where I'm standing, another two meters or so. Sort of like that. So you can see probably we can reach that area to 
check for sure, but I'd say about two meters, judging by. And the tsunami came over here. We measured around 15 meter high tsunami. So it reached the top of this building, and a man standing at the top had to hold this kid in his arms. But, so from this building, there was a woman who was retransmitting at the last moment uh, to let people know that the tsunami was approaching. And television was saying, is saying that they don't know what happened to her. Uh, she's missing since the tsunami. So now we are in Motoyoshi. And the far distance there, you can see some breakwater. Whether it was detached or not, it's not clear at this point. Uh, we're not so sure, but we think the original coastline was much further in this direction. You can see there's been some damage anyway, because probably those depths those over there must have been at a higher level, and now they've, been, they've almost completely disappeared. And this Kesenuma, one of the biggest fishery sport, fishery ports in this area. Very famous for Sama fish. <laughs> and then um, we are looking at the tsunami damage. So here you can see some of these con uh, not containers, but the storage tanks have been moved around. Some ships here have been taken out of the water and placed on land. Another one of these ships over here. These are almost all these uh, fish fish product company. Hmm. Uh, apparently, um, this Yayoi yes. Shokuhin. Yes. Apparently, that's just the tsunami shelter. Yeah. So here from Tenango. See how the tsunami must have come from this direction. So on this. Onto these structures and ship on top of the. So, a lot of what we see today is actually seems to be impact from floating objects and structures. So this direction, the seafront. <laughs> 